Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and we'll be creating this random animated light patterns inside Blender. So let's start up. We'll just add an icosphere and smooth it out. In the top view, we'll duplicate just several. Okay, um, so now let's create a single material for this. And um, we'll just call this light. Just create a viewport color. Selecting the rest, shift select the one with material and press Ctrl L and select material. So they all have um, same materials. So let's just add the camera and align it perfectly. And we are good to go. So in your shader view, um, let's select this object and then we can see the material. We can just change this to an emission shader. Okay, and now let's create the materials, um, the shader that will create this effect. So what we want to do is, on the input, you want to go to object info. So this node contains um, some cool information about the object. So what we need is the random factor. Okay, um, next we add a color ramp. And in this linear, I want to switch it to constant. So let's see how it's looking. So it looks like nothing is happening. Let's connect the preview. So now we can just create random colors. Cool, so these are the colors we're working with. So we want to just connect this random to the factor color to the color and this is it um, so um, let's animate it so to create the animation what you want to do is add a, a um, wave texture okay so when we move the scale we get it to flip the colors so let's just animate it timeline and set it to AB sync. Cool. Um, let's go to the first frame and just set this to 0.2 and press I for insert keyframe and go to the last frame and also just move it and just hit I. And if we play it, you can see. So it looks nice, but let's add some cool effect to it because right now it's just um, looking on normal. Um, so selecting this. You should see it appear in the timeline, your keyframe. Um, you want to press T. Um, you get this menu here. Yeah, want to set it to exponent, exponential. And if we hit play, so it's going to change the curve to give you a different cool effect. You can also play with some more options like bounce, linear. So um, I like the, if, the result of this one. So I'll just leave it at that. So just, just how you create this nice looking effect. Uh, for the final render, I used EV, set the background to black and let's get a nice frame. And then I used the bloom and just played with some of the settings so it's not so over the top. Okay. So that's basically how you can create random objects animation. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye for now.